the state of the art and visual magic in our showbiz focus. The dazzling high-tech look of computer animation is turning up everywhere in visual entertainment. The story from Dennis Michael. If the mind's eye can see it, it can be translated to the screen. That seems to be the only limit on the power of computer animation. What we're trying to do is to take a concept, which is basically something you can't see because it's too big, too broad, too philosophical, too small, too micro, and make it visible. The power to make the complicated simple, the mundane, magnificent, made computer animation a natural for advertising. Television commercials were the first to use computer animation because it could sell products. And more important, it could sell ideas. Today, we draw the line where it has never been before. Tomorrow, we'll cross over. Tomorrow is taking shape at a company called TRW. And this is all what we call nonverbal communication. You suddenly have primary, secondary, and tertiary meanings to things. It would be much harder to do in 30 seconds of words. 30 seconds of picture would give you many minutes of meaning. Television networks now use computer-generated visuals to create their on-screen image. Basically, the movies got into the act, notably in the films Tron and The Last Starfighter. In both films, computers created the sophisticated special effects. The reason more such projects have not been done is the enormous cost of the process. Somewhere between $1,000 and $3,000 a second for mid-range graphics, and it can go up to five, dollars $6,000 a second for really, really advanced imagery. Robert Abel says that problem is self-correcting thanks to rapid advances in computer technology. We're using a system now nine times faster than what we used six months ago. By next year, this time, we'll have one that's 100 times faster. And when the price comes down enough, use of the medium will grow outside entertainment. An architect who's building a $100 million building might want to see what that building's going to look like before it's built. So with the blueprints, we can build that building. It's architects, it's medicine, it's aerospace, it's engineering. It's all these people who need something to be explained that normally would be extremely difficult to explain because the pictures don't exist or the proper words don't exist for it. Indeed, the growth of computer graphics is already too rapid for the suppliers to keep up with it. Last year, we did $450,000 worth of business in this area. This year, we did $3.5 million worth of business. Could have done five, but we don't have the capacity to do it. We're turning down work, and we project next year we'll do $7 million. As technology improves and the costs go down, computer-generated images will increasingly affect the look of television and film, both on the screen and here behind the scenes. Dennis Michael, CNN, Hollywood.